Welcome to the Mind Project's Virtual Robotics Lab. This lab is designed for people who have no background whatsoever in artificial intelligence or robotics. Our robotics lab has the option to track a user's progress throughout the lab, allowing that user to complete the lab in multiple sessions. Upon entering the lab, it is important to familiarize yourself with the lab layout, including the objectives and tasks located in the toolbar and the different areas of the lab. The user will be asked to start at the research desk, desk and to learn a bit about the robotics lab and some of the basic concepts the user will need to know. Clicking on the virtual textbooks will bring students to background information as well as instructions for specific lab operations. Some of these chapters include Chapter 2 on script writing, Chapter 3 on robotic arm design, or Chapter 5 on central control programming. Having done some of the background reading, the next step is to assemble the basic parts of the physical robot. This is a replica of a physical robot the student researchers that are part of the Mind Project learning community have been in the process of building for the last several years. We would encourage other students and teachers as their advisors to collaborate with us and others that we are working with, including those in the U.S. as well as our partners in Portugal. We welcome collaborators to help give Iris 4 mobile, mobile robot more capabilities than it has now. Iris 4 will ultimately have both text-to-speech and voice recognition software so we'll be able to speak and to hear what you have to say. Now that we have built the physical parts of the robot, it is time to learn how, the, how to write the software that will control the motors. The scripter is a piece of software that trains you in writing scripts. We'll first start by writing scripts that control the two motors that control the right wheel and the left wheel. Here at the bottom, you'll see a timeline in which each box represents one second. When the box is red, that means the motor is turned off. You'll see here in the left script window that every time you click on a box, it adds a new line of script or alters the line that is there. This is a means of teaching students how to write scripts even if they have no background in AI, computer science, or robotics. Once a successful wheel behavior code is written and saved, the next step will be to assemble the final piece of the physical robot, the robot gripper arm. At the Arm Builder station, you will be provided with the completed replica of the arm you must assemble. These pieces we are using are from a robotic arm kit made by Robix that can be purchased for a reasonable price. And this is the ki kind of robotic arm that we use in all of our robo robots at the Mind Project. The next step is to write scripts for the robotic arm. To do this, we must begin by uploading the gripper arm we have just constructed. Here it is a little bit more complex because each mortar will have its own controller. We see here a similarity to the wheel scripts in that the user moves the slides up and down and thereby increases or decreases the length of time a particular servo is turned on. The gray cylinder is simply standing in for the coke bottle that the robot will be able to recycle when the robot and its programming are completed. With a successful arm behavior of picking up the cylinder, moving the cylinder, and dropping it into the recycling bin, written and saved, it is time to bring together the wheel behavior and the arm behavior into one united recycling behavior. Again, we'll see a manipulation in real time of the timeline writes the coding in the left script window. We now have done everything we need to do except prepare the robot's mind and brain. The Iris robot has a piece of AI software called ProtoThinker that can understand English sen sentences that are spoken to it. ProtoThinker will engage in a grammatical processing and a semantic processing needed to, co to coherently code commands and beliefs. Here we will ask it a question. Are you a philosopher? And Iris says yes. Then I will say, all philosophers are cool. Iris believes this and says, I appreciate that information. Then I ask, are you cool? And Iris says yes, because Iris goes through a reasoning process that if all philosophers are cool and she is a philosopher, then she'll deduce that she is cool as well. This gives just a brief introduction to the fabulous ProtoThinker software written by John Barker that we use in all of our robots. 
This is just a simulation of the software, and the actual Windows program can be downloaded for free from the Mind Project website. Once the gripper arm is attached and Iris is powered up, it is time to upload Iris's mind and desires. And with proper execution, Iris 4 will accurately move the bottle, move to the bottle's location, and recycle the bottle. Because Iris is an environmentalist and is committed to recycling any empty Coke bottles.